TikTok. The app has become ubiquitous amongst millennials and teenagers. It allows users to post short, lip-synced music, talent, or comedy videos. And with over half of US citizens having TikTok on their phone, it has taken the social media world by storm. And it now finds itself in the middle of a geopolitical struggle. But just three years ago, TikTok didn't even exist. Also, there is no shortage of competition in the social media and digital advertising space, with giants like Facebook and YouTube already dominating the market. So how did TikTok come from nothing to becoming the most downloaded app globally in 2020? We must first understand TikTok's beginnings. And oddly enough, its origins lie with a different app called Musical.ly. Founded in 2014, Musical.ly was a user-friendly app that allowed its users to create and edit videos and share them to their friends. It had strong success, reaching number one on the iTunes App Store in 2015. Musical.ly's success was noticed by Chinese company ByteDance, which launched its own copycat version of the app in China called Douyin in 2016. In 2017, ByteDance bought Musical.ly and relaunched it as TikTok in the US. So what exactly is TikTok, and how are so many teens and millennials now addicted to it? Unlike other video and music sharing apps like Snapchat, TikTok is not for sharing videos with your friends. Instead, it is more like YouTube, where a user posts a video that can be viewed by anyone on the platform. Videos are capped at one minute long, and TikTok has a powerful AI engine that suggests content that is most likely to engage the viewer. TikTok is best known for lip sync videos, but as TikTok influencers compete for engagement, they become more and more creative, and the sky is the limit for what they can produce. Because the videos are so short, and the AI engine for recommending videos is so powerful, it becomes an addicting proposition for users who can often spend hours at a time scrolling through their TikTok feed. TikTok's content creators take advantage of the app's easy to use interface and filters to create content. This is what really differentiates TikTok. Unlike YouTube, the videos are extremely easy to make, so there is a much larger pool of content creators. And unlike Instagram, your content can be recommended to anyone, not just your followers. And finally, unlike Vine, TikTok has a sophisticated AI engine to keep you glued to your phone, scrolling down your feed for hours. The ease of creating TikTok content, along with the addicting nature of the short videos and AI engine, add up to a perfect combination allowing TikTok to skyrocket in popularity. During its launch year in 2017, it had 2.5 million daily active adult users in the US. That number has since increased almost 500% to 14 million adults. And that doesn't even include high school and middle school students who are the core audience of TikTok. The surge in popularity for the app has turned it into an extremely valuable asset. Its run rate revenue for the US alone this year is $500 million, and it is expected to grow rapidly as they start monetizing their ad inventory more aggressively. While it is not publicly traded, so we don't know what the valuation is exactly, most analysts put the price tag between 20 and 50 billion US dollars. But TikTok is not without controversy. And the controversy is centered around the fact that it is owned by a Chinese company, ByteDance. The Trump administration has threatened to ban the app if ByteDance cannot divest it within 90 days and ensure that none of TikTok users' data flows through Chinese servers. Obviously, ByteDance doesn't want TikTok to be shut down, so they are scrambling to divest it so that it can be allowed to continue operating. There has been widespread speculation that Microsoft will buy TikTok, and recently Microsoft has confirmed it is in active discussions to make that acquisition. With a deal in the works to sell TikTok to a US company, it is unlikely the app will ever be shut down, and TikTok users will most likely be able to freely use TikTok without any disruption. With US-China relations at an all-time low as a result of the trade war and global health situation, the US is starting to crack down on perceived security threats from Chinese companies. Because TikTok is owned by ByteDance, all of TikTok users' data flows through ByteDance servers in China. The fear is that the Chinese government can access ByteDance's servers and view US citizens' data. But why would the Chinese government care about TikTok data? While they couldn't care less about what songs are you lip syncing to, they could care about other data, for example, geolocation. If the US military personnel are using TikTok, they can track where they are going. This can tell them where the US military is deploying its soldiers, and they can use this to infer strategic priorities. Even if the security concerns are unfounded, there are other reasons the US is cracking down on TikTok. The US and China are in the middle of a trade war, and part of this conflict is about who will control the technology of the future. This is not a new struggle. China has banned US tech giants like Facebook and Google, and the US has accused China of stealing its intellectual property for years. So now that Chinese tech companies are becoming more advanced and able to compete with the US tech giants, it's natural that the US will try to fight back against this. 
because whoever dominates the tech and internet industries going forward will have an outsized influence across the world. And as it stands now, this is a two horse race between the US and China. TikTok is not going to be the last casualty in the US China technology conflict. The Trump administration has already talked about cracking down on popular Chinese messenger app WeChat, and China is sure to retaliate, possibly by banning US tech companies like Apple from operating within China. We could very well end up in a new world order where there are two internets and two technology ecosystems, one centered around the US and the other centered around China. They would not be compatible with each other and every country will have to make its own decision about which one to use. The US-China tech conflict is one of the biggest issues of our time and has the potential to impact all of us. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about TikTok and the ongoing US-China tensions? Also let me know what company or brand you want me to cover next. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.